Hey guys, it's me, Greg from Playtech. I'm here in the lab today looking at our new Wildcat gaming system. The Wildcat is one of our new limited run systems, which we've been doing a lot of lately. Um, if you're not familiar with the limited run stuff, basically, if we get a really good deal on some components, say some graphics cards or CPUs that don't actually fit into our normal range of systems, then what we'll do is we'll actually, we'll grab all that stock from the suppliers and we'll build one of these limited run, kind of like a little bit more special systems um, and run them off through the website as a way of just throwing something a little bit different out there and keeping it interesting. So when you're shopping for a PC on the Playtex site, always make sure to check out the limited run section because you'll find a lot of these sort of little bit more oddball systems in there. But to be honest, between you and me, that's usually where some of the best deals are. The reason why I say that is because we only build these systems when we get that super good deal on the components so we know the spec is gonna be really, really good value for money. So in saying that today, what we've got here with the Wildcat is um, an RX 6600 GPU and an AMD Ryzen 5600X CPU. We've got all the other usual sort of stuff as well, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM and a Samsung 980 500 gig SSD. But we all know that you guys wanna know about the CPU and the GPU. Now at the 1499 price point that we've got this guy at, having the RX 6600 and the Ryzen 5600X just makes perfect sense if you ask me. The Ryzen 5600X has a great combination of core count, clock speed, and price. And the GPU, the RX 6600, is actually like kind of an unsung hero of 1080p gaming at the moment. It's in close competition with the RTX 3060, but if you're sticking to 1080p where this thing really shines, you don't need the extra VRAM of the 3060, so there's no point paying for it, so you'll save a couple bucks there too. Of course, the RTX cards always do really well in ray traced games, but at 1080p at this end of the market, you're not really gonna be turning ray tracing on anyway. If I had to sum this PC up in one sentence, I would say it's an absolute monster for full HD 1080p gaming. For esports titles like Valorant, CS, or even stuff like Fortnite, or anything you can't go wrong with something like this this will absolutely smash it that's all for today guys if you're looking for a 1080p gaming system i hope i made your choice a little bit simpler if you've got any questions or anything like that shoot us an email drop us a comment and we'll be in touch